Hello students, my name is Kranti Joshi from BMS department. So today we are going to learn about the database management system. So what is a database management system? It is a computerized format, uh, computerized software that allows user to create, organize and manage collection of data. It provides various advantages such as a um, uh, such as uh, improve data security, efficiency of data, uh, e easy to recover data, easy to retrieve the data. So DBMS having very much uh, advantages, it is uh, uh, very much better as compared to the traditional database system. So next we will see that what are the advantages of using the DBMS. So first one is a centralized da data storage. DBMS allows data to store in a uh, store in a one center loc central location so that uh, all the users can able to access that data it uh, gets stored in one central location so that all user from any uh, remote location can able to access that data second one is a data consistency by using the dbms data integrity can be uh, ensured through the enforcement of data constraint uh, here uh, you will get uh, assurity that data is uh, data that gets stored into the uh, database that is a consistent Third one, improve data security. Data provides various security mechanisms such as a access control, encryption to uh, protect sensitive information. Data consistency. By using DBMS, data integrity can be uh, ensured through the enforcement of the data constraint. Here uh, you will get assurance that uh, data that gets stored into the database that is a consistent uh, that is uh, stored in the con consistent format. Then uh, improve data security. Uh, DBMS provides various security mechanisms such as uh, access control and encryption to protect sensitive data. Here uh, you are having the ID and password or the various authentications to access that data so that uh, here the assurance uh, of the security provided by the the DBMS uh, there are the uh, less chances to hack the data then fourth one efficient data uh, retrieval with the indexing query optimization uh, DBMS allows uh, user to uh, access data in a faster manner by using simply one line two line code you will get the all data from the DBMS next we are going to uh, see components of the DBMS there are three components of the DBMS first one is a database schema second one database server third one data dictionary in database schema the structure or blueprint of the database that uh, defines how data is organized and the relationship between the different data and elements uh, for example there is a, a table student so in that table there will be the multiple entities like uh, student name student ID uh, student class student roll number so how that uh, entities are related with each other that uh, all things are defined into that database schema then next one database server the software that manages and control access to uh, database allowing user to interact with the data so in uh, database server user uh, simply uh, add the query uh, add the uh, coding so that uh, they will get uh, the data that they want simply by uh, adding the query they will de get data from the database server then third one is a data dictionary a repository that stores the metadata about the database including information about the tables columns and relationship so in data dictionary there are uh, various types of uh, tables are get stored and you will get the information about uh, that table which kinds of tables that uh, are stored into that uh, dictionary dictionary you will get all the information into the data dictionary next we are going to learn about the types of dbms so there are various types of dbms first one is a rdbms a relational uh, dbms a type of dbms that organize data into uh, tables with the predefined relationship between the them so uh, there are the multiple tables uh, that are related to each other so you need not to uh, create another table uh, for uh, your uh, any reason so it will helps to reduce the data redundancy second no sql dbms uh, a non-relational dbms that provides uh, flexible data model for storing uh, storing and retrieving unstructured data 
एंड स्टेम स्ट्रक्चर डेटा थर्ड वन इज अ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड डीबीएमएस अ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड डीबीएमएस दैट स्टोर्स डेटा इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो दैट यू कैन इजीली रिट्राइव द कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड यू कैन इजीली बिल्ड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा then next one we are going to see about the querying and manipulating data in a dbms so first one is a query language so in uh, dbms a uh, query language requ uh, required to uh, retrieve the data from the uh, database a language that used to retrieve and manipulate data uh, that is a uh, sql uh, that into the dbms uh, for example sql structural query language these languages helps to uh, retrieve data from the uh, database next Next, uh, second one, data manipulation, performing operation, data including uh, inserting, updating, and deleting the records. Third one, data normalization. By using this feature, you can simply analyze the data, which data you want uh, want to see. The process of organizing data into the well structured uh, table to reduce the data redundancy and improve the data efficiency. As you can see into the di uh, diagram, there are uh, two uh, diagrams are given. So uh, in first diagram data normalization uh, is given there you uh, you can see data get uh, set into the structure format next we are going to see about the security and integrity in dbms so first one is a access control using the authentication and authorization mechanism uh, to restrict access to the database based on the user role and permission so here uh, in uh, authentication you and authorization you have to give id password uh, to the database so that you can uh, you can give your uh, digital identity to database so that database will able to know that you are the author, uh, valid user for that database so in access control authentication and authorization is required so there are the uh, various types of uh, authentications are available one way authentication two way authentication so uh, like in gmail you have seen uh, seen that uh, there are the two way uh, uh, two way types of authentication available once you have add the password then uh, in next step you have to uh, get the confirm you have to click on the mobile phone to confirm that you are accessing that account then a uh, second one encryption encryption uh, se encrypting sensitive data to protect it uh, from the unauthorized access and ensure confidentiality in encryption data gets stored into the unreadable format uh, so that uh, third party cannot able to read that data without any uh, without sender's permission that data only read by uh, the sender and receiver because they both ha are having the public and private key then third one data backup and recovery implementing regular backup and recovery uh, uh, recovery procedure to prevent the data uh, losses uh, in an event of the system failure or the disaster so in in the case of the uh, system failure or the disaster you have the option of the data backup or data recovery by the dbms then fourth one is a data validation applying the validation rule and constraint uh, to ensure the anti, uh, integrity and accuracy of the uh, data get stored into the database by use applying the validation you can uh, have the assurance that uh, users th who will input that uh, who will input the data they will uh, input only right data for example uh, in uh, some text boxes if you are uh, trying to uh, add the email address and in uh, su suppose uh, sometimes user forget to add the at the rate then at that time they will get the error message by the data database then next exploring the world of dbms keys so there are the various keys that plays uh, an essential role in a, any database management system in this uh, next uh, slides we are going to discuss about the some uh, database keys so first one is a very much important key that is a primary key primary key is very much important in a database uh, management system so what are the role of the primary key first it is a unique uh, identifier a primary key is a single field uh, single field of the uh, combination of the field uh, that uniquely identifier each record in the table this key ensures data uh, accuracy and consistency uh, means uh, once you you have add one record suppose a uh, roll number is there and you have assigned primary uh, key to that roll number field then you have added uh, one roll number 
one roll number then next time uh, suppose by mistakenly you uh, are going to add that uh, roll number one again then it will be uh, gives you error so primary keys uh, i accept only one value only one unique value then second lock and key lock and key uh, so primary key uh, like uh, to lock the door and uh, keeping data uh, in a safe manner they can't be uh, null and they must have an unique value so as i said in first uh, unique identifier primary key accept only unique value and you cannot uh, you cannot primary key helps to avoid the null value you can uh, you have to enter a value by if there is a primary key then third one magical key primary key uh, magically link the table uh, together create uh, together by uh, in the creation uh, for the relationship uh, relation uh, to build the relationship with the another table so uh, that uh, keeps uh, everything organized and uh, secured and easily updated 